So how long are you letting this thing? Oh, the artichokes? Mm-hmm. Um, I usually let those steam for like 20 to 30 minutes, but it's really like around 20 minutes I'll look with a fork and if it just goes into the stem real easy, then it's, then it's done. So when it goes through nice and smooth like that, like that's real easy, it's done. So what are you doing now? I take these and I cut them in half, which is not the easiest thing. This actually takes a little practice um, and I don't always do it super great. And actually I need to, I like to cut the very tip of it off also. And now why do you cut it in half? There's a choke inside of there, and uh, you can choke on what they call the choke. I'll show you what the choke looks like. It's um, best to use a sharp knife if you have a good one on hand for this. But even with a sharp knife, it's a little awkward. But this right here is... The heart. That's the meat of the the flower right well what I was gonna say is that this right here these little feathery things are the choke that you want to remove oh, so okay. that you can enjoy the meal um, and everything underneath it is what we really like the heart of it aside from the meat on each of these leaves so each of these leaves has a nice meaty vegetable um, but I uh, am gonna prepare this and try to take it out. Um, and this is another thing that takes a little practice to get this little technique down, but I like to use a spoon. If somebody knows how to do it easier, I'm always up for any advice, but this is how I've been doing it over the years. I've been probably doing this since my kids were little and they're in their mid to late 20s now. So I scoop this part out. Uh, selfishly, I want to try to eat as much of those as possible, but it's not worth choking on some of these little feathery things. And once I have it like this, I'm going to put it in the pan. And what I'm going to do with each of these is I'll always like sprinkle it with a little oil. And that just keeps it from sticking. Yeah, and I like to sprinkle a little of our Redmond salt on there. And then I'll broil it for three minutes on each side. But I'll go through and do all of these the same. How long do you let these cool be once you're doing it, preparing it like this? And I only do it because I don't like to touch them when they're hot. And obviously I'm not touching them hot right now because they're still on the warm side and I'm just impatient. So this is how I'm doing it while it's still pretty warm. But you don't have to wait for it to cool all the way. I just want to be able to tolerate touching it. So what are you planning on doing with these? I usually put that in the compost. Oh. But um, part of like actually making this is um, being able to go through and treat myself. Oh, is that right? This is so good. Oh my God. And I never share this with you because I'm always the one that makes it. Oh. Oh. For you know. Like this chef's. Y'all see how she do me? Y'all see? Mm-hmm. Yep. Is it tender? Mm. So good. The cooler 
it gets, the harder it is to get, like when it's hot, it's easier to scoop it out in like one full scoop, but the cooler it gets, the harder that is. And you don't have to put oil on this. This is just really my preference because I don't like it sticking. I don't like the mess. And it kind of acts as a binder with the salt. I feel like it does. It's my preference, but this is really to each person their own and do stuff for your own palate. This is a very healthy, healthy snack. It was taking more choke than I, yeah. or it was taking more of the heart than I wanted it to. Cause the heart, that's the golden part. Like that is like the big prize when you're eating this is getting to this part right here. So now what you're going to do is after you get it all seasoned and stuff, you're going to put it in the oven. What temperature? Um, I am only getting like a little char on here. Um, so I'm just doing a broil and that really just came from kind of replicating a little bit of what Cheesecake Factory did because it always came with a little char on it and I liked that for the presentation. You don't have to do this. That's just how I like it. So um, ours goes into an immediate broil on high, like it starts automatically. And this oven heats hot because it's propane. Yeah, so I go like three minutes on that side, and when I flip it over, then I'll do like two minutes. Bye bye, see y'all in a few minutes. So the charring usually just happens on the back side, so it's a bit more of like a presentation thing. And I could go three minutes for more charring, but I have found that I prefer with our oven about two minutes. So this will just take practice. To do as you like. Yeah, it's it, everything comes down to your own preference. And you could use whatever seasoning you want on there. You, mm -hmm. can, you can even use red pepper flakes, garlic powder. Exactly. You can spray it with any kind of seasoning that you like. Um, we're not short on seasoning. At all. So it has just a little mild charring on it. And I really like that. And so now, what's the next step? Um, the next step is put a dip together because it's a finger food night with our um, wings and this. Cool. Our preferred dip for this real quick is the Asagio one store bought. Now Mr. Naked Gardener actually makes something. It just takes a really long time and we don't always prepare ahead of time to make that. So, how do you like to eat it? You like to start from the inside, outside? Um, I always kind of like take and just work my way into the prize, into the crown of mm -hmm. it. Um, so, I just start taking them off like that, dipping them, and just scraping with the bottom teeth. So what you're basically doing is you're taking this, right? Yep. And you're dipping that and you're taking most of all of that from there. Yeah. Mm. Just like that. 
Do you recall when I introduced you to this treat? Mm -mm. I kind of introduced you to it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were at Cheesecake Factory and you ordered this as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been hooked. Never even... I mean, what did what did you think about it the first time you tasted it? Because you looked at me kind of weird about it. Yeah, because I've always had the or do you have the artichoke spinach dip, and never have I eaten it like this, and it was good. And we've been eating it now for like eleven years now, eleven twelve years. Now. Yeah, and you just didn't want to take me to cheesecake for it, so you started buying it at the grocery store, right? Well, it was cheaper doing it that way. Because you, Mister Frugal. Yep. Mm-hmm.